Let's turn to the state level now from back to school mask policies to school vouchers and the governor's race heating up as well. There is a lot of movement in state politics and we bring back former state Senate President Mike Karadopoulos to talk about those. Mike, thanks for sticking around. Good to see you again. Thank you, Ryan. So let's face it, four or five weeks ago, we thought school mask was, was not going to go forward. This wasn't going to be a debate, but, but here we are with this new variant, a hot debate once again. And we've got a few school districts pushing back against the governor. Yeah, I think you'll see that consistently across the state, and this is one of the realities we're facing. This Delta variant is a real challenge. It is highly contagious, as we all know, and of course, we all hope that if you haven't received the vaccine, please go out and get it. It's the most effective way to stop not only yourself from getting uh, as sick, but also the spreading, of course, this terrible uh, variant. Uh, that said, I think what, what makes a lot of sense to most parents is the, the, the option that you're giving to your child. You're, you have the ability to say if you wear a mask or not. And I think that's where the fundamental push that the governor's come from in general, that he's saying, look, it should be the choice of the parent, not the bureaucrat. Because in the, in the last year and a half that we've fought with this horrible uh, situation, it, there's been inconsistent messages, including more recently from the president of the United States himself, who said if you got the vaccine, that you couldn't get coronavirus. And so I think it's going to make a lot of sense that there's flexibility that if you want your child to wear a mask, wear the mask. If you don't want your child to wear a mask, don't wear a mask. And I, it's the same thing with the vaccine as well. You can choose to have your child get that or, or not, depending on your, your circumstance. But, but the, the one size fits all solution never works. And I think that's why the governor's push saying give parents the option as opposed to forcing them to wear masks because of the obvious reasons we've discussed for months now. Mike, Ford has got an aggressive school voucher program. It lets students go to different schools that they couldn't afford. Uh, do you see more parents using this program this fall? Yeah, they'll be using this program more and more because a lot of people feel like their public school has failed. More recently, you've seen the latest situation is that the Commissioner of Education, Richard Corcoran, has said if you're bullied or you're not given the opportunity to have the freedom with the mask, you can be given a voucher as well. And it's just talking about school choice. I think you're going to see more and more parents exercise this because they're worried about things like critical race theory. They're worried about the kind of the top-heavy situation or some of the propaganda that's sometimes pushed in schools. And so I think more and more students are starting our parents are choosing vouchers or again school choice where they're saying their public school is not meeting their needs they're going to use the money that's already allocated by taxpayers to go to the school of their choice so they can have more success for their child just about a minute left to get through these last two the governor's race getting closer some people don't put a lot of faith in those polls obviously uh, the governor would be a little bit vulnerable here to COVID. is that what's pushing these numbers do you think Absolutely. Look, we're, we're all we're, uh, you turn on the news, it's, it's COVID, 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 Delta variant, Delta variant. And, and you see the push even from the president of the United States going after the governor more recently. And so I think you'll see a little uptick in the polls for both Nikki Fried and Charlie Chris. But remember, they've got about a million dollars in the bank. The governor has about $50 million in the bank. Hopefully, in his mind, it'll be enough to offset what he would consider the mainstream press. But you're going to see these polls close. It's Florida, after all. And, and with the, as long as COVID's around, there's a chance for Democrats to win next year. Let's finish with Bobby Bowden. I had the luxury, I have just the honor of being around him a number of times. And as good a football coach as he was, he was an even better person. And a lot of people remembering him that way. Uh, you, you couldn't be more correct. Uh, it's so appropriate, Ryan. You, you nailed it. He is just a remarkable individual, a great coach, and a better person. I had the ch uh, opportunity because I was in Tallahassee, a lot of state senator, and to meet him on many times. Just a positive, uplifting person. Always wanting to give persons a second chance. Just a great, incredible person. He's in a better place now, but we had a real blessing in having in our lives through the years. So yeah, if you want to look at someone to speak yeah. well of you after your life, look at how they spoke of Bobby Bowden. If people People speak of you that way. I think it says a lot about your life for sure. Amen, Ryan. Amen. Well said. Mike, good to talk to you as always. Uh, have a great Monday. We'll talk to you later in the week. Look forward to it, Ryan. Have a great week. You as well. Coming up next on